so we're at the highest peak in South Africa. Mafadi at 3,400. 3,446 meters. So this hike is quite special to us, Hamza and I, because it's actually our anniversary gift celebration to each other. There's always prayers and takeaway messages. And we pray that we're always healthy and fit to explore this beautiful world, continue doing what we love, and also that we can conquer obstacles in our life. As courageously and supportively as we conquer obstacles on our hikes. Because really that's where we're the strongest team. So we're going to attempt to hike Mafadi, the highest peak in South Africa this weekend. Oops, we just got now to Njesuti and we passed a sign saying Gorge Pools. So we're taking literally the shortest walk ever down to the river to check out these pools. There is a sign warning that if you swim in these pools, stay in the shallow areas because the deep areas um, have caves and strong currents. And um, someone did drown last year, an adult male did drown last year. So proceed with caution in the water. Let's check it out. Here we are at the bottom. You ready to see how amazing it is? Look at this water. Stunning blue green water and three little waterfalls yeah gorge pool swimming spots really short walk but quite steep and technical a really flat easy walk from the intercity campsite to Idwala pools and look at this beautiful pool it's deep the size of intercity we are let me show you so we are on day one of a hike so this is a common very well marked path it is actually the route to the very famous marble baths and we are attempting to summit Mafadi the highest peak in South Africa and we're planning to go up Leslie's Pass and come down Judges Pass so tonight we're probably gonna stay near marble baths but later we were last year at Ninja City in June last year, so a year and a bit. We're back, we're married, and we're trying to climb the highest peak in South Africa. The weather is beautiful. That mountain range right there, we'll show you a bit when we get over, maybe later. That range is engraved onto Hamza's wedding ring, because um, for both of us, this was our first overnight hike. And it was our first overnight hike that we took clients on. So it's a special place, and also it's one of the most beautiful and fun hikes there are out here. You get to swim. Now we're filling our water at Marble Bath at sunrise. Look, Leslie's Pass does ascend next to a river the whole time, but we don't know how strong or reliable that source is going to be. So you always rather fill up at your most reliable source while you have the chance. Also, it's beautiful, so why not? Don't know. The highlight of our bots is this bum slide all the way into this gorgeous pool. It's normally like spectacular blue, but the sun's still coming up, so it doesn't look as dramatic yet. Check it out. You slide through here. A shark of a hoo. We've come to the campsite at the base of Leslie's Park. A nice big campsite. Unfortunately, it's very dirty. People seem to use the campsite as their toilet area as well. Going to the toilet where they sleep and eat. We're all human beings and civilized, so we should probably aim to leave no trace. Dig cat holes, bury your toilet paper. Nobody wants to sleep in your excrement. Incredibly illegal is to build fires in Drakensburg. It's a hazard. This is the trail, there's toilet paper on it. This is a huge fire. It's been so close to winter, the rain has not set in yet. This is a safety issue. But on the bright side, look at these flowers. There's the pass right in front of me. Look from the campsite down there. Climb up this ridge, which is dwarfed by the mountains on the side. However, not to be underestimated. Midway up the ridge. Lunch stop. So 
over that ridge, up the next one. The ridge, there's a small contour path leading to the main hectic part of the pass. Now, there hasn't been a lot of water since we left the campsite before the pass, actually even a bit before then, but this is now well, there is, uh, the main event before my party. Check it out. We're about to top out at Leslie's Pass. I am now at the top of Leslie's Pass. There's the con behind me. Check it out. This side. Escarpment. Lesotho. And this side is the pass we came from. You can't see the drama. So after Leslie's, we came up on the left. We had to ascend a little bit. And now we're sort of contouring the mountains of the escarpment. So we're walking along the border. Um, it's quite a well-defined path, as you can see. Um, I think we've still got a while to Mafali, about 4 k's. And I don't know if you can see, but there's sheets of mist, so... Hopefully, we make it before the storms. Dad, this is that side. This side is our beautiful country, South Africa. Sure. Okay, I'm not going closer. Scary. As you can see, our beautiful day has become a bit cold and a bit rainy and a bit misty. So, waterproof jacket, waterproof covering, waterproof pants, and a waterproof glove. That little hill in front of us, that's my fatty. Oh, I didn't show you the rest because we went snow and sleet and hail, but don't be fooled. It looks like a little hill, but it was a journey to get there. There's a bit of snow there. The sun's coming out finally. So we're at the high street in Salaka, Mafadi. We're just leaving Mafadi in the distance. There you go. And we're heading down to the Indy City Dome, which is that dome in front of me because we are looking for the Inja City Summit Cave, which is where we're gonna spend the night. It's uh, a really nice cave, one of the nicest, and it's the highest cave in South Africa. So, exciting. Hey, and here's the cave. Uh, you can see it's very well sheltered in this huge rock. If you're coming from Mafadi, it's very easy to end up above the cave. That's what we did. I'm blowing there right away. Let me show you what's inside. <sighs> this is inside. Really big. Well protected by the wall. Yeah. It's gonna be a cozy night. So here's sunrise. Um, we're on our way from the cave. Summit cave down to the valley. So you can see there's a stream down there. We're gonna top up our water and then head out. The wind is pumping. Please just look at the rising sun. How incredible is that? I'm sure it's gonna get better. Look, one of my personal favorite things about hiking is just that it invokes such a strong emotion of gratitude and humbleness that you can live on such a beautiful world that you've been blessed and that I'm privileged enough to have the health and the resources to explore this beautiful world and there's the moon okay that was just my side note of gratitude and all that there is to be thankful for even though there's bad times in my life did you know over 50% of guides in South Africa operate illegally? Only 7% of adventure guides are legally registered. 
You wouldn't feel comfortable hiring a driver without a license even though they're cheaper. Likewise, why would you want to use an unregistered guide on a multi-day high altitude hike where there's so many hazards to factor since it's a high risk activity? By using illegal guides, your insurance won't cover you. You're likely to receive bad service since your leader isn't trained. You're also contributing to unethical practices by lowering the industry standards. And when it comes to emergencies and safety, professionalism matters more than how much you saved. Hamza and Sadia from Hidden Gems, South Africa are both high altitude adventure guides. We stand to be corrected, but we are probably the only married couple in South Africa with that qualification. This is our safe little water point at the bottom of the valley. About halfway to go to the pass at the top. Another three case, we've done three. So look at these beautiful rocks. Okay, here's some perspective. Here in front of me, on the right most, the sheer red wall. That's called the Trojan Wall. Next to it, that peak is the Angel City Dome and behind it. That's my point. Ice peak. And if you come this way, that little area there, that's the corner spot. It's a proper peak. And there are some raptors in the sky. Um, from this distance, I can't tell what they are. But maybe we'll find out later as we get closer. We're heading off to Judges Pass. It's probably the gentlest pass going down. And the longest. But we're taking care of our knees. Remember that ridge? It's the first part of the pass. It was very rocky and slippery. Um, but this part is actually, first of all, beautiful. Um, and quite short. It's a path. Easy breezy. So we get to the bottom by that river and then we contour back to main base. So now we're on the contour path. Going back to the camp. We just came down the pass. Which is there. So the peak, there's a nice V. The big peak on the right, that's Judge's Peak. Or oh, it's called the Judge actually. So we climb down there. It was a 4K pass. About a thousand elevation. Flora and fauna on this hike. It's just incredible. And diverse. And just beautiful. We are contouring back to Centenary Hut. Well, two, not back. We have back to base via Centenary Hut. So we're all marked easy contouring for a change. The weather has been lovely to us. So after the longest contour path in the world, about six k's, from the base of Judges Pass, we are now at Centenary Hut. I'll show you what it looks like when we're inside. It's been working in our favor, but here's the outside of the hut close up. It has excessively nice views. Just look at that, of the whole escarpment. <sighs> Let's check it inside. Did what? They've been upgrading it. Mountain club. Hello. Kitchen area. All toilet, no longer functional. Prep area. Let me tell you something. If anyone tells you we're going by Heartbreak Hill, just know that they're lying. Heartbreak Hill is a mountain. Look. But there's this beautiful water pint afterwards. And actually further down there's a pool that you can swim in. Detour to Fergie's Cave. Got to cross a river. Okay. Oh. There's like remains of rock art on the wall. Poorly preserved, but pres look at how gorgeous this is with the forest and the river. See what I did there? Gorgeous. <laughs> A 
bit of overlap from the loop. Part of the loop from all vaults actually. So just meandering along the river. And we'll go back to the same river crossing that we started on the stretch in this tranquil valley of boulders. We've probably got about two and a half k's on the clock. And we're back! Thanks for watching our adventure. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media. Hidden Gem South Africa.